Alright, uh, let's look at the homework 17, problem number 6. Alright, so we want to evaluate this uh, uh, line integral along the x-axis from 0, point, uh, 0, 0 to square root of 5, 0 and along a circular arc from uh, square root of uh, 5, 0 to 1, 2. Alright, so let's uh, sketch that path. I mean those here. So here's the x-axis, and uh, here's the y-axis. All right, and uh, the path is going to be starting from the zero comma zero, and it's going to go to uh, square root of five comma zero. So it's somewhere around here square root of 5 uh, comma 0 so this is a point and the final point would be uh, 1 comma 2 so it's gonna be some somewhere around here so 1 comma 2 All right so this is gonna be the final point Right. so along this circular path so it's gonna go this way and take a circular path to get to the final point All right so let's add a path to complete make it a closed path so I'm gonna add uh, this path right here so go a straight from uh, 1 comma 2 straight back to the origin All right so um, let's see so let's call that path um, path C All right then uh, so let's uh, look at the integral All right over this uh, close path C then uh, do that instead of the actual actual integral we want to evaluate All right, and uh, let's see if we can apply uh, Green's theorem here. All right, so we're going to have to identify. So it's going along with uh, dx. So this is our p, and uh, this guy right here is our q. All right, so this is going to be equal to. So it's uh, integral. Well, actually, we have to turn into a double integral, right? So it's a double integral, right? Then uh, this is going to be the region. So I'm going to call this region, right? This is going to be region, say, A. So this is a in double integral over the region A, right? Then we have to take the uh, partial of Q with respect to x, which is going to be 2y minus partial p with respect to y, which will be 2y again, dx dy, right? And which is going to be actually equal to 0. Right, so which means that if you think of this, uh, this um, uh, vector field, uh, vector field F, which is um, you know um, y squared minus uh, x squared, comma two uh, x y plus three, right. Since uh, if you take the uh, line to go along this closed path is equal to zero, right? So this is actually a conservative uh, vector field. So that if you take the path from here to there, it's going to be exactly the same thing as take the path from here to there, or it's actually any other um, uh, path you want to take. So 
the easiest one that you can try would be instead of going straight from here to there it's actually not too bad but we can actually go along the x-axis first to 1 and go parallel to the y-axis to up here All right so let's do that all right so the integral I, i'm gonna try it would be uh, so i'm gonna take a path from here to there and go straight up All right All right here so there's no change in y so we don't have to look at this guy so this part and along this path y is equal to zero so you can plug in zero so you have an integral so the integral that we were trying to find is uh, so we know that this is uh, conservative All right so we'll pick the path that we want All right so it's going to be an integral All right so we put y zero here so it's going to be negative x squared with respect to x All right and then uh, the x is going to go from uh, 0 to 1, right? And plus, and you have an integral, right? And uh, from here to there, right? So there's no change in x, so we don't have to worry about this guy. But here, right 2xy at this point x value is fixed at 1 so we're going to put 1 here so it's going to be 2y and plus 3 dy right y is going to go from 0 to 2 right then uh, you can evaluate that so this is going to be the same I'll let you guys do that so this is going to be the um, the same value as the integral that we are looking at here. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.